everybody today I'm going to be doing the monthly collab with the faithful fab seven and this month's theme is to do a fall smoky eye so I'm going to use the Tarte gilded palette this was the more warm rosy palette I did do a video using this on one eye and the more cool tone called glamour on the other eye but when I asked in the comments like which one was everyone's favorite everyone chose the warmer you know rosier tone so we are going to do or attempt a fall smoky eye but i will link everyone down below in the faithful fab 7 i highly recommend checking out their channels and seeing what they did for this month's look so i have been you know playing with these palettes these are the like holiday release for Tarte so you get the two palettes for $54 which is a really great price but I do notice you do need an eye primer because they don't last well on the eyes without it and I actually had this Ulta matte primer for a long time I finally just I don't know what I was saving it for I kept the wrapper on it because I was like I don't want to use it because I have other eye primers open but I was like, you know what, it's just going to go bad, <laughs> even if I don't have it open, like, because it's been sitting there forever. So, I'm going to use it, and this is a pretty good primer. My cat little one always likes to join me for my videos, so if you see her tail popping up, that is her. So, I'm going to go into the matte cream shade Adore all over both my lids. Today is beautiful outside. It's like in the 70s. It does not feel like November. It's crazy. And my daughter's birthday is on the 8th. She will be 17. So I'm going to go in with a crease shade. And I'm going to go right next to it in the shade Dame. And tomorrow after work, we're going to go to the Cheesecake Factory. That's where she wanted to go for her birthday dinner. And I haven't been there. I think I've been there once. And I didn't think it was that expensive. I don't know. I have to look at the prices. But I, like, it's located at the mall. And I know it's, like, in the section where the really expensive restaurants are. Like, the Melting Pot. Um, what else is over there? I don't know. I, I think I've only went to the melting pot and cheesecake factory, but hopefully it's not crazy expensive, but I did buy her presents. She doesn't watch my videos, but I got her Dior perfume. I think it's Miss Dior or no, it's roses and roses. I got her that and it was like a hundred dollars and it's not even a big size. Perfume is expensive. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go a little rosier and go with this shade. I don't think I use this shade yet called Roaring. And I'm gonna put that in my crease. And what else did I get her? Oh, uh, Pink has these fall scent body sprays, like basic peach, or no, basic peach, basic um, pumpkin, basic vanilla. There's a cool co uh, coconut and a vanilla chai. So I got her those. I got her two long sleeve shirts off Amazon and some lip smacker lip glosses or lip balms. And then she's into earrings. And I do have a really nice jewelry thing for her. It's on her wall. It's like this big mirror I got off of Amazon and it has a lock. It's really nice. But she says she can't really store her studded earrings. So I got her this little case off of Amazon where she could store all that and keep it organized. So I think she did well for her birthday. I just can't believe she's gonna be 17. I had my daughter when I was 21, about to be 22. Very young and immature. We definitely went through our struggles, you know, cause her, me and her father, we're still together. I always say my boyfriend, We, but we have been together for, since we were, like 19 years old. We are talking about getting married maybe after January, but it would be like a quick, simple like courthouse wedding. Nothing crazy, nothing too expensive. Just for, you know, I mean, we're not getting any younger and yeah. 
we'll see though. Okay, so I have that on there. I'm gonna try to make this smoky. We'll see. I'm going to put a deep shade into my outer corner. This one right here is like a deep plum called Abstract. Really pretty. And I'm gonna pat into that and build this up over here. It's like really dark. It's really pretty. I'm just going with a little bit at a time. This brush is shedding. This is like a brush from, I don't even know what it's from, an eyeshadow palette. I don't know. It's so dark, it almost looks black. And then I wanna take the same shade and smudge a little bit of it down here. I feel like this is what makes the eye look smoky is having eyeshadow and your lower lashes. Now we're gonna play in with some shimmers. What I do notice about these shimmers is they're very sparkly. There's a lot of glitter in here. Just so you, you know, keep that in mind. And I'm gonna go into the shade Red Hot right here. And we'll put this towards the center. I've never used this shade either. And I didn't wet it or anything, so we'll just see how it performs with the brush. Actually, this shade doesn't look too sparkly. Some of the, sh the shades that I've used are very sparkly and glittery, but this one looks like a, a nice shimmer. That's actually really pretty. Okay, so they're not all super sparkly. <laughs> and then this shade, I've used this one. This one is called glamour really pretty like rose gold we'll put that towards the center of or the inner this one's more sparkly it's gonna be a really pinky rosy fall look and i'm just gonna make sure everything's blended now i'm gonna take a liner brush and that shade abstract the deep Plum, and I'm just gonna tight line a little bit, like push it up to create like a liner look in the outer portion of my lower lash line. Definitely got some fallout with that sparkly shade, and I'll do a little highlighting with Elegant, the brightest shade in the palette. Put a little under my brow bone. I always like to take my finger and buff it out so it's not like a super harsh line and then pop some in my inner corner. So for eyeliner, I'm gonna use my Color Key Brown Liquid Liner. This is from Amazon. I love it. It is great. I do, I wanna get the black one. My daughter has the black one and she uses it and she absolutely loves it. They do have a lot of fun colors. I do have the berry shade. It's more of a red shade. I honestly, it's a beautiful shade, but it's not something I reach for, but love the brown for every day. And it's just so easy to apply. Like if you ever had issues applying liquid liner, try it and you never try to brush, try a brush. I just think it looks so good. I love it. And like, and if you think black is too harsh, try brown. For mascara, I'm going to use my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Just a good classic mascara. It's so fun to play around like holiday looks, especially like fall because you could, there's so many colors you could use for fall looks. I don't know. I have a lot of fun playing around with seasonal looks. And it, you know, it helps you get a lot of use if you have a lot of makeup, you know, get some use out of some of your stuff that you already own instead of buying more. Eyes are done, and for lip, I'm going to use this MAC Luster Lipstick. I believe the shade's in 512 Lustering. I won this in a giveaway from Melissa Pope. I will be uploading this video after I film this. So that video will be up before this one. And I think this shade is so pretty. It's like a balmy lipstick. It's such a fun color. It is sheer though, so it's not crazy. Well, not super sheer, but but it's like a moisturizing formula, and I, I really I love this color. Not so much for the fall, more of like a summer color for me. But I still I still love it, and I wanted to use it. 
I thought it would look good with like a rosy eye. But anyways, guys, that is it for today's video using the Gilded palette from the Tarte Holiday set. If you guys, if anybody has picked these, this set up, what are your thoughts? Um, I think that these palettes are very user friendly. The shades aren't crazy pigmented, but they work just fine. They build up nicely. I think they're, yeah, they're easy to use. Just the only thing is I know you need an eye primer because they don't last super long without one. And a lot of the shimmers are super sparkly, super glittery. Um, if you're into more like smooth, like satin, they do have some of those in here. Like that one shade I used was like that red hot, but a lot of them are super sparkly. But anyways, I hope you all have a great um, November and I'll see you guys later. And don't forget to check out the Faithful Fab 7. Okay, bye guys.